Hi everyone, this is Osan. Welcome to another UIP tutorial with me. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to use text screenshot activity in UIP and we will talk about why we need them. As you know, we can get errors during our automation runtimes and we will need the screenshot of the runtime errors so that we will better understand the error. So when we develop our automations, uh, we need to take into account possible errors. So we should implement exception handling. In this exception handling scenario, we should also add text screenshot activity so it will help us for further error investigation. For example, there can be some pop-ups or website UI changes, Windows updates or application updates, etc. Anything that's blocking our automation from doing its job. In this way, we can understand there is an UI error most probably in our automation and we can take proper actions accordingly. This is a very very important topic for automation sustainability. If we don't implement text screenshot activities in our automations, we would never know that what is going on the screen since our automations interacts with the UI for the most part. And after this long introduction, let's jump into UiPath and implement some text screenshot activity with exception handling. And for this tutorial, I have prepared some sample web page and we will try to log into the system. And after that, we will try to implement exception handling with text screenshot activities. So let's try to open this website and continue with our example. First of all, I need to add open browser activity. So I will open this URL. By the way, I have created this site on GitHub page. Let me choose browser type Chrome. And after that, I will click here. Let's type click here. Indicate on screen. We will try to click here. Okay, then we will use type into activity. Let me get here and I will first type here. I will type my email address and for this I have created this sample mail address and password. I will type this one first here and then I will type my password which is this one and my password is 123. I will type 123. If I type correctly, I am expecting to see the home page. Let's try that one without UiPath first. Let's type test at test.com and 123. Login, your credentials are OK, OK, and welcome to the system. So if I see that text, that means I am successful login to system. So let's validate this condition on UiPad. After the successful login, I need to see that text on the web page. Before that, I will use click to be able to log into system. Let me go back and click login here and after that I will try to home page text control okay I type my email password and click login and then if it is correct I need to see home page so let's add element exist here indicate on screen first I have to log into system okay and I will try to detect this text on the screen so I will understand that okay I am on the home page if this element exists on the page JTLK is home page exists let's say and let's change timeout to five seconds 
because I don't want to wait too long. If is home page exist, then comment continue continue to automate. If not, we will throw an exception, which is like new exception, and we will say login is failed, cannot complete transaction. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so we have implemented login process to our automation. So what is the relation to exception handling or what is the relation to take screenshot activity? If we have a workflow like this, we need to add some exception handling. So let's add that and then we need to add some take screenshot activity. Try catch. I will try to open that browser and then if there is an exception let's say log message error couldn't could not log in to system exception let's add like this exception message exception dot message in this way we will get the message inside of the exception object and then let's add take screenshot because we want to know what is going on on the screen screenshots activity we don't have to add anything just get the output as an image let's add it screenshots image and then of course we need to save it save image let's add here my image is screenshot image and I am going to add it on my project folder let me add screenshots folder and let's add this one untitled let's leave it like that okay so screenshot untitled PNG or error screen shot PNG okay first let's see happy pads so our automation will work hopefully and then we will log into system and then I will type my password wrong and we are not going to see the home page and then we will see what is going on on the automation and okay so close that one run file okay I forgot to add this we have login to systems so there is no exception screenshot because we have successfully completed the operation as you see here there is no screenshot okay let me add that click first one two three let me add that click so after the login I need to add click activity here indicate on screen okay I need to click that one I am trying to create some exceptions so let me type here four and then we will see what is going on with my automation 
so let me close that okay let's run it again click one two three four login i am still the same page i couldn't navigate to home page so i have an exception here as you can see here could not log into system exception message login is failed cannot complete transaction so I got that error and throw an exception here and came to exception part which I wrote the log message and hopefully I got the screenshot from the screen and after that I have saved that screenshot to my local folder let's open that screenshot as you see here we looking at our login screen it is not my home page so that means my credentials may be wrong that's why i couldn't log into system if i close this click it will be much better for us because we will see exact problem here let's add that one and this time i will change also my screenshot naming to adding some date timestamp to it so plus plus date time now to string mm dd r r minute minutes okay what i am doing wrong i think it is okay no it is okay yeah minute minute then it will try to add some timestamp to my screenshot so that it won't overwrite previous one uh, or older ones okay let's try this one now run file it will open my home page here okay there is an error as you see here username or password is invalid so we are expecting to see home page but we cannot see that then we need to get this error it finished working let's check our screenshots here open folder as you see here we just type our email address and password and we couldn't see the home page and the web page itself says that uh, username or password is invalid so we need to check them first but if we use take screenshot activity for our automations especially in exception handling there is a higher chance that we can detect errors easily so it helps us to investigate the errors on our automations and i try to explain the importance of the take screenshot activity and hopefully it will be helpful for you thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel i hope you to see in next video bye for now